Hello everybody and welcome back to What's Over There! Let's go find out together. Greetings! It was a massively dead end. With a rock wall. And a map. Locations. Reveal your secrets. Like this one. Nope, that wasn't one. Like this one. Nope, that wasn't one. Like this one. Nope, that's a tree. <laughs> Uh, I wish this was like Ark Arkham and I can keep my freaking uh, Batman vision turned on at all times until I want to turn it off. Certainly would make things a little easier. Survey says... No secrets, but there is a wall. Looks like I gotta do this. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know if that's a climbable wall, but just in case it's not... Arrows. It was a rock wall. This is faster than climbing rock walls, though. Oh, shit! How they did not see me, I do not know. So this hey, is we're level 7 Greek. We should understand what they're saying. Oh, our might. We still won't. Yeah, but the sheik, they could subtitle it. Uh, got a point there. Now watch the subtitles be in their language. <laughs> or worse, Russian. Speaking ancient Greek, subtitles in Russian. But I don't speak Russian! <laughs> Damn it! Everything's breaking! I created a machine that can translate any language. Unfortunately, it translates them all into an incomprehensible dead language. See? Hello! Bonjour! Stupid piece of junk! <laughs> Isn't that from Futurama or something? Yes. I love Futurama. Old show, but good one. It's a good thing this magically still leads to where I'm going. Indeed. Where do these people eat down here? Well, if they're immortal, they don't really need to eat anything, do they? You know what's interesting is I heard that we might actually have a path towards immortality. Or at least expanding our ages by about 50%. Hmm? They injected young plasma into old bodies of rats, and they found that it decreased their, age, their body's uh, cell age by up to 50%. Well, the reason we age is basically when our body replaces cells, it loses information and degrades over time. All we have to do is find a solution to that degradation. And we could effectively live forever until murdered. Or disease. Or, you know, starve to death. Yeah. But I'm just saying no death of old age from your body not being able to function anymore because of degradation. Anyway, uh, Pelinar and the Dodge Canner. Nah. Is it, hey, I wonder if RTX voice is picking me up as background right now, as my hand is in front of my face. Hey, if you couldn't understand what I was saying there, well, you're gonna be able to. I hit the button so that if it does do that thing that I just said, I'll just use the un-RTX modified microphone, because I'm smart in recording both the original stream and the RTX stream. Yay! Yeah. Anyway. Those are just the executions. Right. Triple shot. Eh, fuck, why not? I should try that out sometime. Imagine getting three headshots on three different enemies. Whatever the upgrades for, it's for a different bow. So, I'm not gonna worry about it. Save my materials. Indeed. Why change bows until you need to? I go back to a weaker bow when I have a stronger bow. I am strongbow. That is a big damn axe. That is a pole axe. 
I don't think a normal human could wield a weapon that big. Yeah, they could. Is that a ballista? Probably. Okay, Laura. Now, collapse the bridge on them. Huh? On them, not yourself. I leave these notes for whoever should follow in my footsteps. My wounds are worse than I believed. They will not heal. Tonight I will make one last attempt to escape this frozen tomb, but I doubt I have the strength. A divine source is here, at the peak of the tallest tower, but it is beyond my reach. With the source at his disposal, the Prophet's deathless ones are unstoppable. An army of wraiths and devils that can never die. A mockery of all God's creation. They are no longer human, and they will break any army that stands in their way. With every death and rebirth, they learn. They adapt. Should Trinity someday find a way to seize it for ourselves. I fear that we will do no better. Perhaps it would be best if it were to remain lost forever. I felt sorry for this guy until I learned he's part of Trinity. Now I'm glad he's dead. Mm. <laughs> Mo stuff. Mm -hmm. Mo camp. If mm -hmm. you rest at this camp, do you get a thing? Mm. Nope. Nope. I wonder if RTX voice picked up me going. Mm. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, that looks like the way I'm supposed to go, so let's see what's over here. Dead end with stuff. With oil in it. It had a bunch of stuff that I'm full on. It's because you don't use them. Or rather, it's too easy to get them back. Shit. Ugh, that reminds me of this video that I saw that would make you anxious just by watching it. Uh-oh. There's no way he doesn't see that hand. Small detail. What is this? You're not looking. Got lucky, Lara. Really lucky. That is the most blindest blindo that ever blinded. It's a good thing this is a climbable rock wall, not one of the ones I have to shoot the arrow into, because I cannot do it from the angle that I was at. Nope. Oh, hey, zombie. maybe he did see you. <laughs> I love how you're just minorly inconveniencing him. Um, he just turned to dust. And he'll just return later. I'm guessing that's what the Divine Source is. It somehow brings them back to life, even though they die. Holy crap, that man is on fire! And died right in front of you. What the hell? What well, killed him? I think he wandered through flames and ended up on fire. Maybe he got shot by his own dudes. Oh, they're not very strong, are they? It's ancient armor versus buckshot. Defeat a deathless swordsman using only melee combat. Oh, they leave behind stuff you can loot. Sweet. Ow, fuck. I shot him in the arm. He did not instantly die. These guys are already tougher than most soldiers. Wow, you suck. Point blank, unmoving, and you still miss. I kept rapidly hitting the button to shoot it when I was over him. 
But by the time I was finally able to fire, it was no longer over him. Hmm. What the hell? Did you see the unnatural way she was bent? <laughs> Do you mean like that? No, what the hell is <laughs> Let me give me a just just a second, I need to break my back. <laughs> Dickhead and his blue fire arrows. Is he on fire? Yep, he was on fire and he died from it. We didn't loot him. I'm gonna laugh if you get shotgun ammo from this dead body. I can't get nothing from it apparently. I think you might end up running out of ammo in this area because I don't think they're gonna give you any back. Of course, I could be wrong. I don't even know where I'm going. That way? Here we go. Oh man, they just really want to throw that fire at you. And then walk into it and die. Stop burning everything! I love how each shot takes one bullet. But you have 178 more where that came from. This rifle really is overpowered. You know when he lifted his when he lifted his shield like that, it reminded me of the iron knuckle enemies in Zelda 2. Hmm. You know how they always seem to read your movements and then move their shield up and down? Mm -hmm. I hated those things. The worst enemy ever. Die. Should not have come down here, buddy. Whatever they're dropping, I'm full of it. Arrows. Mmm. Excuse arrows. Laura, don't just stand there. Oh, those guys look... Never mind. Like they could be dangerous. Don't have time for arrows. Only have time for this. Four for four. Where are they at? Down low. Well, that wasn't very fun. This fire ever gonna fade? Tell Dark Souls we found the Eternal Flame. <laughs> they do drop ammo, never mind. They have shotgun shells and rifle shells to give you. Really? They didn't give it earlier. Oh, I bet you could have shot those to drop fire on them. Damn! Well, that would have been useful. Apparently ground fire can hit me mid-air. Yeah, that's weird. Hmm. 
There needs to be a bear to kill down here. Really? Yeah, just randomly a bear. Why not? No, I'm saying really. There needs to be. I have never felt such terror. Tonight, the armies of the Mongol horde camp at the edge of the valley, ready to strike at the heart of Katesh. We have the alchemist's fire at ready to set the invaders alight. Every man and woman who can wield a weapon will fight. We will do all we can to support the Athanatoi. But I have never seen bloodshed. None of us mere citizens have. I have never taken a life, and now that I must, I fear for my resolve. Go. Cool. I think I just saw a map. This is... Hmm, particularly odd. Has elements of Scythian design, but it looks like a... No, n not possible. What, you mean it looks like a spaceman? To me it looks like a shitty Roman soldier. As in surely made. Not that Roman soldiers are shitty. Then again they could be, I don't know. Map? Trinity no. has twice before sent great men seeking the prophet's path. And twice before they have vanished. He carried the divine source out of the empire, but it was not his to take. That blasphemy taints everything while his descendants still live. So Trinity must try again. I have done ungodly things, committed terrible sins against the innocent, just to reach this place, to retrieve the divine source. I know God will forgive for what I do, I do for the greater good. Now the end is in sight. I need only survive this final battle, and Trinity's work will be done. Ah, uh, the greater good. You know what the greater good really would be? Fucking kill the Joker. Every time you lock him up in Arkham, he just escapes and kills countless more. From the moment you decided to lock him up instead of put a bullet on him, everyone he's killed henceforth is on your hands. All those people's lives could have been spared by taking the one. That's why I like the Punisher. He doesn't fuck around, he puts him down. Mm. And I think that's why Batman is more popular than the Punisher. Because he's always got a villain to fight. <laughs> exactly. His story gets to go on forever and ever. Because in all actuality, there's no way those prisoners would have ever escaped as many times as they do. You throw them in there once, you'd lock them in a straight jacket, and they'd never leave it. Except for their contacts on the outside, always breaking them out. Exactly. It's because it's a comic. Stop overthinking it. Yeah, there's no way my leg isn't broken. There's no way your everything isn't broken. For a second there, I thought that was a reflection of her face. Like, what? When did I lose my face? Laura, <laughs> uh. this has got to be freezing going cold. To break through the ice any minute. Do you think you can stop them? The best we can do is buy you some time. I'll see you on the other side. The other side? No, don't do it. Don't go towards the light. No, don't do it. No, don't do it! I can't scream like a psycho. <clears throat> Chamber of Souls. The Divine Source has to be there. Looks like the way into the city center is through that gate. You know, if they were really intelligent, they wouldn't... They wouldn't put the Divine Source in the most innate, ornate, and overly compl complicated building in sight. They would hide it under a rock in the middle of nowhere. I have failed. There will be no pardon for my sins. I have drenched my hands in blood in pursuit of the prophet, and now there is nothing left. As the attack became a siege, the prophet's people did the unthinkable. 
They turned their weapons against the glaciers and buried their own city. Mongol and the Prophet's people alike were crushed in the ice. The Khan and his warrior horde are dead. The people of Katesh are broken and scattered. I alone survive in the frozen heart of the city, and my only companions are the deathless army of the Prophet. Their eyes aflame with unholy light. Even now, they hunt the ruins for survivors. And then knowing our luck, we would trip on that random walk and find it. <laughs> more dialogue? I don't know what I expected an immortal being to be like, but Jacob seems so... human. The things he must have seen over the years, all that experience and knowledge, it's difficult to fathom. And yet, he lied to his own people for generations, all for the sake of this secret. What wonders will be unlocked with the Divine Source? Will humans finally understand the true nature of the soul? Or will it unlock some extraordinary new scientific discovery? One thing is certain. It's too important to allow Trinity to control. All right. Zip line time. Time to go down to Popsicle Town. It's a good thing this was here. Those places look like they've been here for decades. Us are patrolling the streets. Got to stay out of sight. I'd rather just fight them all. It seems fun. They can't die. That's fine. There it is. Ooh. Script. I can't quite piece it together. You gotta be kidding me. You're a level 7 Greek and you can't even reach level 2 Mongol? Beats me. It is what it is. There we go. That's a bottle. <sighs> These guys look human. You gotta be kidding me. He didn't notice that either time. Big damn axe. I feel like you can cleave you in two with it. What if I turn out I was fighting like the same three guys over and over again? <laughs> <laughs> well, that went poorly, but I still won. The Deathless Army. There's only three members. They never die, so they don't need that many. Why can't I open this? There we go. That was weird. I guess I just had to shoot it first. I'm going swamming. I was hoping there might be something under here. At least you can stay under the water forever. Yep, because magic. Uh huh. I wonder how many treasures and gems lay buried within the sunken rooms of Venice. Same as the number of dead bodies? Hmm. Oh hey look, something to read. Valentinus, the timekeeper. Your Greek is maximum. Laura is maximum Greek. Yeah. See, they thought they were gonna knock, they thought they were gonna wall us off. 
Hey, it's not glitchy. Although it doesn't look natural. Uh, After the city nope. was built, the first generation of followers stared out upon it. One among them, a man named Valentinus, has spent his whole life devoted to the study of time and its passage. The prophet sought him out in the crowd and asked him what he thought of the city. Valentinus said he felt it was a blessed place, that time would move slowly there, and that Katesh would last for generations untold. The prophet smiled, for he knew that he had made a home where his people might be safe. And yet they were not. Alright, that's about all the time we have for today's episode. I ain't got any special outros this time. We'll see you next time. Bye!